Hello friends, welcome to MS Active Webcast. Configuring Sharing in Windows Server 2016 The creation and configuration of file shares has long been a core part of network administration. Most administrators are aware that you can create a share folders from within the file extruder. However, in a Windows Server 2016, you also can create shares by using Server Manager and Windows PowerShell. In the Server Manager, the terms of file share and SMB refers to the same component. So let's open Server Manager Console. On a Server Manager Console, click on File and Storage Services. The share subnode in the File and Storage Services utility simplifies the task of creating share folders. So let's click on Shares. Now here you can see all share folders currently created on our server. There are two share folders, NetLogon and Syswell are there. The reason for this share folder is the server is configured as a domain controller and on domain controller you will see these two share folders by default. To create a new share folder, you can click on task and select new share. That will open a new share wizard. By using this wizard, you can create a share folder step by step. On the first screen on a new share wizard, you have to select the profile for the share. There are total 5 options available for you. SMB Share Quick, Advanced, Application and NFS Share Quick and Advanced. SMB Share Quick use SMB to provide basic file sharing with share folder and NTFS permission. This is the default sharing options in Windows Server 2016. Then you have SMB Share Advanced options. This adds access to services provided by file server resource manager to the basic SMB sharing protocol including configuration of folder owners for access denied assistance, default classification of data and enabling of quotas. To use this shared profile, first of all, you have to install file server resource manager feature. Third one is SMB shared application. This profile enables sharing settings used by Hyper-V certain database and many other applications. Fourth one is NFS Share Quick. As already mentioned, NFS is a file sharing protocol used when sharing files with a Unix server. These options include basic sharing permission. To use this share profile, you have to install NFS Server Role. And the last one is NFS Share Advanced. Adds access to services provided by file server resource manager to the basic NFS sharing protocol, similar to those mentioned for advanced SMB sharing. To use a share profile, you have to install both feature NFS and file server resource manager. For this demonstration, we are going to use SMB share quick profile that is suitable for general file sharing. Let's click on next. Now on the screen, it is asking us to select the server and the folder path for that share. In our case, we have only one server and that is the local server ws 2016 dc If you want to share an entire volume, that time you have to select from here. But if you want to share a particular folder, that time you can select type a custom path and then click on browse to browse the path of that shared folder. For this demonstration, I'm going to select C drive. Let's create a one folder and let's give a name folder 1. Select the folder and then click on next. Now it is asking us to specify the shared name. The default folder name will be considered as a shared name. If you want to change the shared name, you can change it from here. If you want to create a hidden share, that time you just have to put a dollar sign at the end of the share folder. But if we do not want to create a hidden share, that's why I'm not going to put a dollar sign. This is the local path of that folder which we are sharing and this is the remote path to access the share folder. Let's click on next. Now here we have options for enable access based enumeration. Let's select enable access based enumeration. Access based enumeration display only files and folders that a user has permission to access. If the user does not have a minimum read permission for a folder, Windows hides the folder from user's view. Let's click on next. On the specific permission to control access page, click on customize permission if you want to modify the default permission. 
The permissions a user has to access files on an SMB share are a combination of share permissions and NTFS permissions. The most restrictive set of permissions always applies. For this demonstration, we are going to use the default NTFS permission and that's why I'm not going to customize it. But if you want to assign a specific permission, you can customize permission by clicking on customize permission and from the same menu which we see in file explorer. Let's click on OK. Let's click on next. Now review your selection and once you are happy with that, click on create to create a share. Let's click on close and now we have a one share folder named folder one. Now let's go back to our client computer and on this client computer already I log in as a user name user one. Let's access the share folder by using UNC path and then the specify the name of our computer that is WS GNT16 hyphen GC01. Okay, and as you can see, user is able to access this share folder. Let's open folder one and let's try to create a new folder and specify name data. So here you can see user is able to access this share folder from their client computer and also able to store data under that share folder. So this is the way how you can configure sharing in Windows Server 2016 using Server Manager Console. That's the end of this video tutorial. Thank you for watching this video.